so I'm here in my pre-op. Um, I got to change into, of course, the gown and everything. They took my COVID test. I'm just waiting for the results. So after I get those results, we can expand more on me getting uh, my revision and I'm also getting my uh, back bra rolls done. So that's all happening Friday. Um, so I'm here at my pre-op, so we'll see how everything goes. But first, gotta get the COVID test. Can't do anything without the COVID test. So let's get into that. Okay, this is what I look like currently. I feel like the first one took really well. It's just the waist part, but they're also gonna get my back rolls as well, my bra roll. So there's that. I don't know why I am like bloated up in here, but I'm just kind of like do that. <laughs> but I feel like I haven't even eaten anything. I'm very hungry, but so far, that's what I look like. I'm not going to work out um, this week at all because of me getting the surgery. So I just want to make sure I'm not injured or anything like that. So this is me. All right. I'm ready. I have Dr. Dawson here, Olivia, coming in. Here. How are you doing? I'm Most doing well. How about yourself? Dr. Dawson. <laughs> what is this now? What are you recording? Oh, I'm recording for my YouTube. Oh, right. <laughs> How you doing? And hello, YouTube followers. We are here to make this lady even more beautiful than what she is now. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, did you see where you started? Yeah, yeah. I had that last time, so. So this was the date 1223 in 2020. Look at that. Where we are now. Right. All right, we're ready. We'll see you tomorrow. Then. All right, see you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you. You want to do that? This is where you're at now. And this is where I'm at today. And then we added the back rolls. Oh, is it going to show the next photo? And this is all for the back rolls. And we are gonna see a difference again tomorrow. Very similar okay. to the first time. The only difference is when we go back in on the same area, there may be some scar tissues there, mm -hmm. uh, but no worries. Uh, Dr. Dawson has done many of these and so it should not be an issue and we always maximize that extractions, okay? Okay. Um, Two days prior to surgery, make sure you start drinking plenty of fluids. However, we're doing this tomorrow, so you're starting it now if you haven't yet. Yeah. Avoid caffeine and alcohol, okay? Mm -hmm. Tonight and tomorrow morning, I need you to shower using antibacterial soap. Yes. And uh, do not apply any lotions or deodorants afterwards, okay? Okay. Uh, you will also start the Arnica. This is a homeopathic medication that some fellow uses that helps with bruising, swelling, and um, also with the sensitivity, yes. okay? Uh, some pain as well and tenderness. So you will start the pills, uh, it goes under your tongue, okay? Mm -hmm. um, it dissolves uh, five pellets three times a day. And you use this until it's done. And then tomorrow morning, or I guess Friday morning, 24 hours later, yeah. after you shower, apply the Arnica cream. Okay. And if you can see the tiny incisions, they do close up pretty quickly. Yes. If they do see them, try to avoid them. Uh, if you accidentally get the Onicare cream on there, it should not be an issue. It you know won't cause it won't harm it. Okay. Um, but otherwise, they do um, close up. Um, drainage usually tapers down 24 hour up at the end of the 24 hour mark. Sometimes 72 hour mark. Okay. Yes. Um, use common sense when changing your pads. Uh, if it's soap, take it off, replace it. If it stops draining, don't put any more pads. The quickest way to heal those tiny incisions is to keep them clean and dry. Okay. As far as the garment, I know we've discussed this earlier. Uh, make sure that you, if it's soaked, you can throw them in the wash. It's okay to be without it. Uh, here's the rule of thumb when wearing compression garment. Garments are supposed to be compressive, not constrictive. Okay. okay. I know there's a misconception with any type of cosmetic procedure. Some patients 
feel that the tighter it is, the better the results. It doesn't work like that. Okay. okay. So just keep those things in mind and it is important that you're hydrating well. There's a lot of fluid shift that happens during the procedure as you remember yeah. from last time. So it is important that you hydrate well. For most of our patients, they drink smart water because it has electrolytes and you can also do Pedialyte. Okay. We try and stay away from uh, <clears throat> Gatorade because okay. it's very high in sugar content. So Pedialyte are great. It's important that you're moving around as Dr. Dawson explained to you. Um, Though not common, blood clot is one of the you know, complications. Right. Okay. And uh, moving around, if you find yourself sitting down, elevate your legs. If you'll notice that for gravity, swelling tends to pull down in our lower extremities. Okay. okay. Any questions? Um, let, I was watching a video, I, I guess a little bit after I had already uh, been, after my three days or whatever, and someone was saying to drink pineapple juice prior and the day, so it helps with the swelling. Is there any truth to that? Not that I can, not that I know, not that our surgeons have verified. Okay. Uh, I think that could be for some patients who reads about it and try to do almost like those homeopathic treatments. Yeah. Possibly, but that's not something that we endorse because, you know, it's not something we do. So. Okay. Okay, yeah. so I'm like, I was thinking, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, if that would have helped my swelling the first I mean, two days. I mean, I would think that for purposes of hydrating, yeah. higher, possibly, but if it is, I know some pineapple juice are high in sugar content, so that kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah. Uh, so, again, if it's for hydration purposes, possibly, or whatever other nutrients or, or you know, vitamins it brings, I am not really sure. Um, another thing that I just remember, eat foods high in protein, okay? okay? Because protein promotes healing. Also, um, you're gonna get three prescriptions, uh, pain medicine, antibiotics, and something for nausea. Okay. So, um, antibiotics will give you the first dose here. Make sure you continue taking it on uh, until it's finished, the course is finished. Um, pain meds, obviously you take that as needed. However, I do recommend as soon as you get home and you eat your first meal, Take the medication, okay? Take the pain meds okay. so you can stay on top of the pain. Um, take your pain meds with food. Um, also, another part of that is the, the nausea medication. The moment that you feel nauseous, that which is typically brought about by the pain meds, take it. Okay. okay? And those are as needed. After 48 hours, we encourage patients to switch to ibuprofen because um, it, it has anti-inflammatory properties, which would aid in swelling, unless you're allergic, of course but also to avoid any constipation because that yeah. does happen. So we recommend over-the-counter stool softener if that happens to be the case for you. Okay. But you can also counteract that by drinking lots of fluids. Okay. Any other questions? Um, so I guess it's so early that I have to be here. When should I cut off, I guess, uh, trying um, to eat breakfast? Or yeah, I want to so eat at like 6.30? So we recommend that you eat breakfast at least a couple of hours. Very light breakfast. It could okay. be oatmeal, a toast, and an egg. Okay. As long as it's not greasy or salty. Okay. Uh, water, you can start tapering it down at least three to four hours prior to coming here. Um, we will give you some water, obviously, when we medicate you for as part of our pre-medication um, process. Uh, but other than that, you, you're not completely uh, NPO, meaning you know we don't um, prohibit you from eating anything because we do want you to eat a light breakfast, right? At least two hours prior. Okay. And I will confirm the time with you. Okay. I'm on like, when I guess. Come in, on, on time you need to come in. Okay. okay. Also, I have some other things here in your bag. As you know, you're going to need some pads. Yeah. for the drainage so change it as needed and i also have this but it's also important to maybe bring some old towels in case you start draining in the car and it's important that you have a ride i know you said you have secured that um, yes. also having someone to stay with you the first 48 hours it's very very important because again um you know for safety because you're under the influence of medication and also added the fact that so patients, when they get dehydrated, you feel lightheaded, you feel fainty. So yeah. it's normal to feel those way in the first few days. That's why we highly, highly encourage hydration okay. and eating as you tolerate. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's on a bottle of water bottle for you for okay. hydration. Okay. All right. So I'll put all of these goodies in your bag. Any other questions, Olivia? Uh, no. <laughs> you answered them all. Thank all you. Right, perfect. And, you know, uh, 
uh, feel free to reach out to me with any questions or concerns. I'll give you my card and I'll confirm the time. Okay. So go ahead and change and I'll be back. All right. Okay. Thanks. So yeah. the question I have is um, in regard to the massages, because okay. that was a huge question um, last time. Um, I, how soon to start them mm -hmm. and if the services are offered with Sanabello and how soon to start them basically was the number one question. Okay, how soon to start them? We at least want to see you the first week. So for your one week post-op, mm -hmm. we will determine it then. Typically, patients can do it immediately after that. Okay. Uh, however, for most of Dr. Dawson's patients, he'll tell you, remember how you said, oh, yeah. you can squeeze and massage and whatnot in the shower? Yes. Uh, he still wants you to do that, okay? And the, the difficulty I know that the patients run into is massaging the back because yeah. you don't always have someone to do that. From my experience, most of our patients, what have helped them is using a lipo roller. I don't know if you've heard of it. Uh, it's a, a, actually another patient that brought it up to me about a year ago and mm -hmm. she showed it to me. It's on Amazon. I think it's either nine ninety nine, nineteen ninety nine. dollars Yeah. It's very much similar to, you know how the physical therapists have those rollers to loosen up tight muscles? Yes. This one has ridges and it does help with that. Uh, okay. For most patients, they find that very helpful, especially because you can just go like this. Yeah. Because you can actually reach the back bra or the upper back and the back of the waist. Okay. Um, so for some patients, so, you know, again, if, if you want, most patients find that helpful. As far as scheduling a uh, lymphatic massage, that's not something that Sonabello offers. However, it's recommended by most of our surgeons. Yes. Okay. Um, I've been here since we opened about a month after, and generally, even our surgeons back then does not really, you know, it's, it's not something that as a company we endorse. It's more for doctors or surgeons' preferences. Yes. And most of them do recommend. So it's up to you if you find a good one. Uh, just make sure that they specialize in lymphatic massaging, not, not just regular massage, you know, relaxation therapy. Yes. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. Okay, well, yes. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm going to get the revision here on this side more. Um, small things on this one, but it was mostly on this side to bring it more in, make it more or match more to the side. And then I added my back rolls, Ugh. my back bra roll. And, you know, I tried working them dangled things out, but I guess lifting just kind of bulked it up a little bit, but it's still there, but I'm gonna get rid of that as much as possible. And then I feel like after that, my exercising and everything will look great so because i like my stomach i think my stomach looks really nice so let's get into that and isn't this funny that like i had curly hair the first time i came here and now i have curly hair today which i gotta take it out uh but <laughs> it was nice while it lasted <laughs> so yeah there we go nice and cute so it's the night before as you guys followed me to my pre-op i've already taken a shower my skin feels so crazy dry using the dowel soap i got the bar soap this time because they had the blue antibacteria gel um but i really like the like orange one so i used the bar one instead uh but it's the day before and i'm super i'm like excited but nervous because i know i'm gonna look great but I'm nervous because of the pain that comes along with doing something like this. Once I experienced it the first time, I <laughs> did not want to experience it again, but I know that this is going to turn out perfectly. I'll be perfectly fine with everything I have. And it gives me like content to give to you guys, just in case you're thinking about doing something like this. This is give me giving you content using, using my body for you guys. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, we're going to see if, this time around, I can answer as many questions as possible. I'm hoping this pre-hop experience answered more questions because you guys had so many questions in the comments of my first video ever doing anything Sanobello. And it's so awesome that since I did that video, so many other people are coming out and giving you guys content in regards to Sanobello or any other like smart lipo procedures they're doing. And I'm really excited that I kind of, I kind of feel like I want to pop my collar and say, I, I, I set that off. But um, <laughs> I'm happy that you guys have so much content 
for wanting to do something like this because when I first was researching it, there it was like a desert. I was like water, like looking for the content. So I'm really excited to go through this journey with you guys again, show you guys what I like, what I don't like, what made me hurt, what didn't hurt, but I kind of want to take it a different way. I still do want to try the pineapple idea. I bought some pineapples. I brought a lot of fruit this time uh, just so I can make smoothies and kind of like heal myself a healthy way, I guess you could say. So we're gonna go through this journey together again. And make sure you guys stay on my channel because even though I'm gonna be in so much pain tomorrow, I am going to record. And this time it's my sister taking care of me, not my mom. And my sister's a different type of girl. If I talk to her left, she is out the door. So I'm gonna be on my P's and Q's. <laughs> um, but until then, I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, by the time this goes up, I'm already gonna be on day one. So yeah.